I'm Brian Dean, Executive Director of Strategic Product Development with Seedhawk Inc. Uh, Seedhawk is based out of Langbank, Saskatchewan, Canada, and we've partnered with Vatterstad out of Sweden. And I'm standing in front of the Tempo F8 today. It's an eight row Tempo that we're launching into the North American corn market. So together with our, our partner, uh, Vatterstad, we're creating in development a, a 16 row and 24 row planter that we're hoping to release to the market in the next year or two. The entire design of the Tempo is focused around speed. So 10 miles an hour, Vatterstad holds the world record for, for speed in corn planting that uh, with a 12 row unit they did 750 acres in 24 hours and that was just recently done in spring of 2014. My name is Gustav Nilsson and I'm a market developer in Canada working for uh, Vatterstad and Seedhawk. Right here we have uh, our new uh, corn planter or planter, a uh, high speed planter uh, able to seed 10 mile an hour plus. The whole secret of the machine, it's, it's built for speed. The frame, uh, everything is built more robust and to handle the higher speed. Starting in the front, we have uh, alternator and fan integrated. So we are producing all the electric power we need for the machine. It's self-sufficient with power. The row unit itself um, and the seed meter especially, it's an... Uh, electric drive seed meter um, also the fertilizer it's an option on the machine it's also electric driven uh, that allows us to get uh, instant access to um, row shut off to variable seed rate both with fertilizer and with the seed and that comes standard on the machine we have chosen to go in uh, an over pressurized system um, to cope with uh, all the the speed and the vibration that we create when we go in that speed. We have a, a power shoot system where we shoot down each seed in 15 meters per second down to the firm moist soil where we catch the seed with this soft uh, stop wheel placing uh, some pressure onto the seed so it gets a really good germination. This uh, model of the Tempo, um, it's named Tempo F8 and this is with dry fertilizer as an option. In the front here you can see an uh, hydraulic uh, motor and that's uh, driving the fan and the alternator for the machine. That's an option. Uh, you can also choose a PTO driven fan and alternator. Uh, we're pushing the, the air through the pipe here and through the main frame. So we're transporting um, some of the air in the frame and some in the, for the fertilizer system in, in the pipe system. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the settings of the machine and how to calibrate the machine. This is a standard monitor from uh, Vatterstad and this is optional. You can also choose it with a wireless iPad solution, uh, which is very, very cool with uh, all the features graphically um, in the monitor. Uh, other options will be to have it uh, connected with the isobus directly into the tractor. We're going to show you here how, um, how the seed meter actually works. As we mentioned before, it's a pressurized system and we then pick up the seeds. This is the first and only adjustment you do with the knockdown wheels and you do change that with this knob depending on how aggressive you want them and depending on the seed. This will make sure you don't have any doubles. The seed gets transported to this position where on the inside of um, the, the lid here you have this wheel, the stop wheel, stopping the seed and the seed then gets shot down, stopped by this wheel and placed on, this, on the field. So as soon as the farmer gets the seeds to, to the farm he can do a calibration of the machine to see what seed disc he needs and what kind of setting he needs on, uh, on the singulator wheels. By a push of a bottom he just uh, selects either the distance between each seed or the population he wants in the field. Uh, he also then selects uh, the speed he wants to calibrate in and that's what we simulate. So let's say we go 12 kilometers an hour, 6-7 mile an hour we calibrate in the same speed. That's the only settings you do, press enter, 
and then we shoot out seeds and measure skips and doubles as you can see in the monitor soon now we have a hundred percent quality and I would say we're pretty satisfied with that um, since we count every seed just after the seed leaves the disc we know if there is a skip or if it's a double coming through so we, you can kind of say that we're calibrating the machine all the time while we're driving as well so when we are done that we're exit and we're good to go in the field and seed this video is brought to you by farms.com